Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you what the system admin features look like, in particular looking at the users within tools. So the first thing you want to know is that when you're being a school level administrator, you have system admin privileges for your school. And you're going to find those under the, under the tools setting here. Now you have advisor dashboard, user analytics, and user management. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the user management. And you can see that I have a list by default of all users within this particular school building. And I can see their names, I can see their username, which is the student number for students, and the power school username for teachers, always going to be that case. And then I've got their emails, if the students have their emails in, or if teachers have their emails in by default, you're going to see that there as well. And then this unique ID usually isn't going to be anything that you're going to need unless you're looking for a specific individual. Um, and then obviously you've got the password over here. Now in this case, all passwords for this school have been have been changed into something exactly the same for all students. That was because during distance learning, we wanted to make sure that passwords were, I guess, uniform so that you could put it all in one big place and say, hey, students, Here's your username, here's your password, your username is your student number. And it would be really easy for all students to be able to access that information because as long as they're not sharing their, their username, which is their student number, the password can be the same for every student. Now, obviously, they'd be able to change this later on if they wanted to, but for getting started, I recommend doing this, and I'm going to show you how to right now. So to change the password for every student so that every student's password would be the same, the way you will do this is to... First, you want to use a filter, and you want to change the role of your search to specifically the student role. Then for this, I think it helps to make it more like, you know, 100 or so. Maybe, um, I would say I wouldn't go over 100, uh, because I've done this in the past, and when I went over 100, I think I went somewhere around 150 or 200 users per page, it actually didn't apply the changes to everyone. So I think somewhere between 80 to 100 might be safe. I'm going to filter this, and now I will be able to see up to... 80 in this case separate students and their information here what i will do is i'm going to check the box here next to their names and select bulk action and at this point i'm able to go to set password once i click on set password i can make the password whatever it needs to be for that school and the way i, I like to do it is you know if i'm going to make a password for um, MVHS, I might make that password MVHS 2020, which is what we did for the the, co the remote learning. So we'll do MVHS uh, 2020. Now you can make that wherever you want. By the time you put it here as well, and you, you retype the, the password confirmation, what it will do is it will take a second and it will apply that password to every single user with the check mark next to their name. Now, once you do this, you will have to go in to the next page and then repeat that same process. And so that does get kind of tedious. You can imagine that from a system admin standpoint, from the district level, it took a long time for this to get done. With one of you over your own school, this is going to be a very, very quick process. And it's going to make it so much easier for students and teachers to get on board from the start if they've never used Schoology before. Now, for teachers, what I would caution you to do is if you're going to change their password, you, you change the role again to just teacher. Don't use the same password for them as you did for your students. And what I would do is when you set that password for teachers, um, set it to something and then immediately make sure that you tell them to, not if you want to change this password, but tell them to actually go in and change the password. Because if you are you know, the, your username is the same as your power school username, and that's really easy to guess if you're at school. So, in order, if if you decide you're going to do this, then you would want to communicate that with teachers and then tell them to go in and change that password immediately. That would be your call. Now, another thing that I did point out in the module is that teachers are able to use their email to recover their password, which might be a better solution, and we do have videos already created for that. Here is what that would look like. So Aiken County's district domain is acpsd.schoology.com. So if you just type in schoology.com, it's not going to bring you to the right place. You need to see this Aiken County Public Schools here in order for this to work. And so if you type in acpsd.schoology.com, it will take you right here. If a teacher forgot their password, they would click on the Forgot Your Password link. Then, once they typed in their district email and clicked on Send My Login Information, it will send the 
instructions for them to reset their password to their district email. This is the way that I usually will ask teachers to prepare their email information, uh, I guess their password information for Schoology, because I think this is safer than sharing a similar password with every teacher. Um, again, if you do that, that's your call, and I would definitely advise them to change that password for their privacy sake.